Newton's third law of motion explained with examples. When you study Newton's third law of motion, the key question to ask is what happens when two objects interact with each other? Let's start with a simple example. Place a book on a table. The book pushes down on the table with its weight. The table pushes up with an equal force on the book. Both forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. These are called the action and reaction forces. Newton's third law of motion definition. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In simple words, whenever an object applies a force on another object, the second object applies an equal force back in the opposite direction. Let's look at some real life examples. Example 1. Frog swimming in water. The frog pushes water backwards with its legs. Action. The water pushes the frog forward. Reaction. Result. The frog moves forward through water. Example 2. Birds flying in the sky. The wings of a bird push air downwards. Action. The air pushes the bird upwards. Reaction. Without this action-reaction pair, birds couldn't fly. Example 3. Firing a gun. The gun exerts a force on the bullet pushing it forward. Action. The bullet exerts an equal force backward on the gun. Reaction. Causing recoil. But you might wonder, why doesn't the gun move backward with the same speed as the bullet? That's where Newton's second law helps. Acceleration equals force divided by mass. Since the mass of the gun is much greater than the mass of the bullet, the acceleration recoil of the gun is much smaller. Example 4. Stepping out of a boat. When you push backward on the boat, action. The boat pushes you forward, reaction. That's why the boat moves backward as you step forward on the land. Similarly, imagine a sailor jumping off a large ship. The ship also gets pushed back, but since it's so massive, the movement is almost unnoticeable. Key points to remember, action and reaction forces act on different objects. They are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. The effect acceleration depends on the mass of the objects involved. Summary of Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Now, you know why boats drift back, why guns recoil, and even how birds fly. In the next lesson, we will explore how all three laws work together in real life situations. Stay curious and keep learning.